Hello people of YouTube land, uh, had a bit of free time today so I thought I'd uh, make a little video of the racking I've got in my van, a little, I like to be organised, um, yeah which annoys my wife because I'm not organised in the house but I am in the van, drives are mental but hey ho, so uh, yeah this is my van, it's a Ford Transit Connect, uh, short wheel based, uh, 2014 model, um, yeah so we're we'll starting the door, Got the door laser level. Um, yeah, people know what they are. Uh, headphones, so I can't hear the wife nagging at me. Uh, also keeps on there. I've got two of the tapes. Just unclip it, pull the tape off, get back up again. Uh, spare jigsaw blades, big wipes. I'm always, yeah, everyone has to have a tube of big wipes in there. I uh, made this little pocket. Go in the door, high vis, odd rags, as and when I need it. Uh, other door. Made this little racking for bit boxes. So I've got different bit boxes, different flat bits, drill bits. Um, you change the label on that, there's no arm egg bits in there anymore. Changed it out, so there's uh, countersink bits and bits and pieces in there. Different posi torque. Uh, impact bits, there's, uh, these are security bits, um, got a silicon gun, just slots in nicely there, got the, got this Vito Pro Pack, uh, came free with a promotion when I picked up my main tool, uh, Vito Pro Pack OTXL I think it is, so yeah I'll just leave that on the door for odd bits and pieces, um, Allen keys, spare pencils, who doesn't need enough pencils. Decided to put the hacksaw, just a place for it to live. Easily just unclip, take it off. Easy peasy. Um, decided to go with a false floor for the van. Primarily to keep my levels and guide rails for the plunge saw nice and safe. So I've got two foot and a four foot and a six foot level. Does fit in there. Just only just fits in there, but uh, yeah, keeps it nice and out of the way. Plunge saw rails keep that tucked away in the bag so they don't get bashed up and dented. Uh, had room for two drawers, so I made the little drawers. This one I just keep for odds and bits and pieces, so odd fixing screws, uh, different nails here, long drill bits. Keep tucking in there, tucked away the long SDS bits. Uh, little hand tools that I don't keep in my day to day bag, but it's in the van if I need it. And then on this side, uh, chisels. Keep my chisels safe. Uh, I don't want them in my tool bag because I don't use them every day. So it just weighs down the tool bag because it's, it's just heavy enough as it is already. Got some scribing tools. Got this big one, come out of jam, little one, put underneath it. I haven't actually used that one yet, but uh, I know it's there if I need it. Little scribe tool. Yeah. Just help me out when I need to. Spanners. I use some spanners. Another little level. I've uh, got forstner bits, SDS bits there. So on this side of the van, I uh, just have to make a place for my. Uh, clamps and just pull them out and it just works just works for me just pull them out uh, spare odd bits and pieces I shove there 10 to 30 mil spanner because those tend to be the go-to sizes and um, picked up these tilt bins on the cheap somewhere marketplace I think it was just keeps my bits and pieces ratchet straps Bungees, wedges, sandpaper, odd fixings, bits and pieces, brackets, spare nozzles. Yeah, it's just handy just to have those little bits and pieces when you float around in the van. And on this side, um, saws. Got a couple of full saws, nice Japanese one, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, it's good old fashioned push saw. A couple of air wedges tucked behind there. And silicon. Silicon corks, different pieces, different bits and pieces tucked behind there, and then my main boxes. So 
So I went with the tough system. Um, um, the boxes, I love the boxes, they're good and sturdy, but primarily the reason was because of the racking. So I, I wanted the racking so I could easily just unclip the boxes, take the boxes out, um, and then fold the arms away. Um, and I've got an empty van. I didn't buy uh, the DeWalt van racking, couldn't justify the cost of it. Uh, so I made this one, just some 25mm box section. My first ever attempt at welding, which didn't actually go that bad. Picked up the brackets. Um, they're the trolley brackets, the fold away trolley brackets. So I picked up a few pairs of those. Um, yeah, and uh, that works out really sweet. Uh, most important tool, radio. Sing along badly to songs during the day. Annoy people who can hear me singing. Uh, two organisers for screws. I've got uh, Posi Drive, ordinary screws, and the Torx head, which I'm becoming a, more and more a fan of, using these more and more all the time. So, um, <clears throat> got the drawers here. Top drawer is I've got two impacts, uh, a drill driver, and a little combi. Uh, I'd prefer to have a set up. The drills and impacts with different bits uh, that I'm using so I'm not chopping and changing drill bits. I could just grab the drill with the drill bit I'm using and I'm good to go. Uh, the next drawer down is the batteries. Um, again to stop them getting bashed around. Um, yeah. And I know when I've got one missing which is good but uh, also sad touch. Personalised battery stickers. Uh, I just thought it was something quite fun. Personalise your tools. Wife thinks I'm sad. Don't care. Maybe I am. Uh, next all down. Uh, SDS. Um, little charger that goes connects to your batteries. Charge up your phone. I'm out. I'm gonna get to a plug and whatever. And this is a big, bigger combi. Nine nine five, I think it is. It's the first one I ever bought. He's like seven years old, even eight years old. But uh, yeah, I battered this thing and it just doesn't want to die. It just keeps on going. So yeah, comes in handy. Next row down, um, recip saw, two spare little batteries. I play suck them in, recip saw blades, multi-tool, uh, angle drill. Uh, I'm actually using less and less nowadays. Um, but uh, and multi-tool blades, so they're all tucked away in there together. Uh, Festool MIDI dust extractor, so I can hook it up to my tools, plunge saw, sander. So yeah, it's kind of a must nowadays to have dust extracting. Yeah, so it's a great bit of kit. So we're going around the side. There's my go-to bag, OTXL, my general hand tools. Yeah, that's why, just take with me day to day. Now the box on this side. Top box is a cordless circular saw and a Mikita plunge saw, which has served me really well. Uh, this drawer, jigsaw, jigsaw blades, and a couple of torches. When you're in the loft, people haven't got lighting up there. More blades, kind of have enough blades. Next draw down, cordless router. Uh, I only had this about six months, um, and I wish I'd bought one sooner because it's just so much nicer having a cordless router. Uh, it comes in so handy, and uh, just organise the bits like that so I can grab a bit that I need. I can see it, I haven't got to sift through a box to find it. Just grab it and go. On this bottom box, uh, so quickly just unclip it and it comes out. Right, this one I've organized for my um, second fix nail gun, uh, cordless router, plane, uh, got a cordless sander in there, keep the sandpaper underneath, and this side, got nails grinder blades yeah everything's in one place 
so I know where everything is. Uh, had a little space above the bulkhead, so I made this little cabinet just to eke out as much space out of my little van as I can. Um, I've got some hole, hole cutting bits, I've got a little socket set that comes in handy, some odd clamps up here, Craig pocket hole jig, spare Dewalt charger if I need it, raincoat. Uh, if I get caught out in the rain, which does actually happen sometimes. Um, and then to eke out even more space in my little van, behind the tilt bins I had a little bit of space. So I made this pull out for glue, might have fix, tucked away in there. Haven't found anything for this little space yet, but I'm sure I'll figure out some way of uh, something I can tuck in there. But then that's neatly tucked out of the way. And I've always got glue on the van. So, yeah, that's my that's my setup. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if it's given anyone an idea or two, something they could do with their little van, uh, that's great. And uh, have a great day.